Next question is from Be Sore, Not Sorry. I hear you guys talk about the elimination diet frequently. I've got psoriasis and my gut is easily bothered, but I don't know what is bothering it. Where would you suggest starting? What do you recommend to keep in the diet when first starting out? Okay, so a couple things. If you find that your gut is very, very sensitive, I would suggest, first off, going to see someone um, and maybe getting tested for SIBO. SIBO is actually present in a majority of people who have irritable bowel type issues. So that's number one. Now, why is that important? It can be cured. It can be cured with antibiotics or it can be cured with herbal antimicrobials. So besides that, you want to take foods out of your diet that are common intolerances. The most common offenders are dairy, gluten, added sugar. You could throw in uh, egg whites to that. You could throw in nuts. Uh, you could throw in legumes in that if you want to go really crazy. But dairy and gluten, I would say, are the two most common ones that uh, that you can remove. But here's the thing. There's a big individual variance here. Yeah. I've worked with clients. I had, I had one lady who had mild psoriasis. We couldn't figure out what it was. We, and it turned out to be bananas. Well, look what just happened to me with mm. meat. Yeah, it's true. I mean, I just did like an elimination diet all the way down to just meat. And I I found that if I was not eating grass-fed meat, that I was having my psoriasis was flaring up, mm -hmm. which blew my mind because I'm like, I'm eating nothing else. And, right. I, and I've never had, and I've never actually felt an issue from meat. I didn't think I did. But now it started to make me connect the dots. Like, So one of the biggest flare-ups I get with my psoriasis, besides sugar, sugar is number one for me. Uh, and the next one would be when I'd eat like a Five Guys burger. Now, I thought it was the gluten that was in there and maybe the dairy. But what I actually think it is, it's the combination of the the, the red meat that's not grass-fed, the dairy, and the gluten. It's mm -hmm. like the perfect storm for mm -hmm. me because all of them affect me. And so and, and something like that hits me harder than anything else that I've ever, I've ever yeah, noticed. Yeah, that's an interesting. The combos, which I've noticed as well. Like uh, Certain foods, as they are by themselves, don't react uh, or give me that same reaction as they do when in combination, uh, which is something, too, that you kind of teach out and th this is why I find this strategy so valuable though is just and, and it's tough because really to to perform it effectively you have to be super strict and rigid uh you know in terms of like peeling back all the way down to something yep. I don't I just don't feel like a lot of people have the discipline really to pull us off you also have to be very open-minded because what happens a lot of times it be your favorite food that's right it's yeah, almost dude. always your favorite food that's like, i mean Jesus is still here yeah so <laughs> there, when when you do this you don't want to believe it's something you really enjoy or eat a lot because it's that's hard for I people i eat that all the time though how could it possibly that, be that i know and and that's the other thing too your body is very resilient and it will it will adapt like if i like so uh, and this is another one that's really tough for me i'm i'm noticing that uh, way affects me worse more than what I thought it would. Now, in the context of it being by itself, the only thing of the day, it's not enough. But if I start to do it multiple times a day or frequently in the week, it starts to compound and then it'll start to cause issues. That's really tough for me to break free from that mm -hmm. because it's something, it's a food that I've been attached to for so long. And so, you got to be open-minded to be okay with it. The same thing with the the meat. I love meat, and so I was like, "There's no way it's the." And when I thought of the burger, I'm like, "It's probably the bread. It's probably the cheese. Mm -hmm, it can't be mm -hmm, the meat." You know right. what I'm saying? There's no way it's the meat, like because I don't want to believe it's the meat. So, but then I was on a completely all meat diet, and I only had those issues when I was eating outside of grass-fed beef. So, you can start. I like like a a paleo esque type of diet. I think is a kind of a, a good a good place to start, or like or a carnivore if you're willing to go that strict of a place mm -hmm. to start and then you slowly build but on it. By the that. way, if you eliminate something, you have to completely eliminate it, completely, yeah. and you got to give yourself at least 30 days. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then introduce one thing at a time. So if you cut out dairy and gluten for 30 days and then you introduce gluten, leave just gluten for a week. Don't introduce two things or three things because then and you don't, can't figure out Don't going introduce on. it in a massive amount either. Yeah. <laughs> like I made that mistake. Yeah. Because I'm like so excited I'm going to eat this and then it just hammers you. So. Well, what's really neat is, and speaking to psoriasis, because I have psoriasis too, um, about that, because it's a, it's a visual thing you can see. Like, it's very obvious when I have a psoriasis flare-up. I mean, if I'm really dialed on the diet, especially when I'm eating low calorie, mm -hmm. it completely suppresses it. It goes down. The minute I eat in a surplus and I hit some of these offenders, it flares right up. And if I've been doing a really good job of running like an elimination diet or avoiding the things that I know that I have an issue with, 
the minute I take it in, I mean, it's 30, 30 minutes to an hour after eating that food, and I'm like itching right away yeah. and picking at it. Like, so you'll know. So you'll yeah. know, but you got to be aware. You'll you be, be a lot more that. sensitive too coming back. That's what in. I mean. Yeah. You're, you're more sensitive yeah, when, more. You've, when you've eliminated it for a while and then reintroduce it. If you've got all these foods in your diet, it's hard because the body is resilient. It will adapt. It mm -hmm. will start to, it won't flare up as bad, even though you're getting a flare up from it. When you pull it all out and then you reintroduce it, you'll see it. You'll get a, a different reaction.